Hello and welcome to Witchy Woo Tarot. This reading is for the general collective of Sagittarius and will not be for everyone watching. So if the message resonates with you, please let me know in the comments. And if not, please check your moon, rising, and Venus signs for other messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid, so feel free to reverse roles however you see fit. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much to my new and returning subscribers. You guys are so awesome. Um, as you know, I love Halloween. I love Scorpio season. And so if you don't already know, please be sure to check the description box below and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for details on how to enter the Halloween giveaway with Missy Awakening. So yes, there will be two giveaways this month as my usual monthly giveaway where I select three winners. And like I said, since Halloween's my favorite, I'm going to draw a fourth winner to win the spooky stuff that's listed on my Instagram and Facebook. So if you don't have social media and you're already subscribed to my channel, um, you are entered. And if you just want extra entries into the giveaway, be sure to follow me on social media because the more you tag people, the more entries you will receive. So for Scorpio season, I thought it would be really appropriate to do a deep dive and see how your person is feeling about you. So of course, that person pops into your head, whoever that might be, whenever you think of love and romance. And so this could resonate with, you know, for one person, for multiple people, it just depends on your story. Also for cross watchers. So take what resonates for you and don't force the rest to fit, okay? I will be using the Santa Muerte Tarot. And I will also be clarifying with the Tarot of Sexual Magic mini deck. So if you're uh, the type of person who doesn't like seeing TNA, um, people doing it out in the woods and all kinds of raunchiness, then please hurry up, click off this video real quick because I don't want your little virgin ears and eyes to be tainted, okay? So let's dig in and see what this person is thinking and feeling about you, Sagittarius. What is this person thinking and feeling for the sign of Sagittarius, please? What are they thinking and feeling, please? Apparently they're thinking and feeling nada. Okay, just kidding. We have the sun. <laughs> All right, so we have the sun. That's beautiful masculine energy and we have the six of swords Ooh, it's about to get spicy all right so what are they how are they viewing you actually how do they see you or how are they viewing this connection with you anything else anything else okay so they're viewing you in the energy of six of wands <clears throat> beautiful so what are their intentions towards you? What are their intentions? How do they intend to move this forward? How do they intend to take action? All right, Sagittarius, that's not cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this chunk and I'm gonna take the ones that fell face up, okay? So let's talk about death, baby. Oh, just kidding, this is justice. Lord of mercy, looks like death, but we'll dig in. And then finally, um, what is this person's desired outcome? What is this person's desired outcome? What does this person desire with you, Sagittarius? What is their desired outcome? All right, so, so we have the Nine of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Beautiful. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the Four of Cups. So it looks like in the recent past, this person has really been focusing on, you know, the disappointments of maybe how things didn't go the way they expected. Um, this is focusing too hard on what could have been, what should have been, as opposed to seeing how these disappointments were setting you up for something much better. 
okay? So perhaps this person could be feeling very disappointed or sad with the way things went between the two of you. As you can see, we have this heart on the ground um, and this like weird ass bug is about to like devour that shit. But anyways, I digress. So they're realizing maybe how they've perhaps focused too much on what didn't go right and how they're not seeing this as a giant opportunity, okay? So they could be finally starting to see that cup coming in from the clouds um, and seeing the forest for the trees in this situation, all right? So let's take a look at their thoughts and feelings for you, Sagittarius. We have the sun and the six of swords. So again, masculine energy coming through. The sun is, yes, it's positive energy. It's a new beginning, um, it's happiness, it's success, it's joy, okay? And so this is how you make them feel. You make them feel in, in that energy. You make them feel like they can do anything. And so your energy to them is very healing because the Six of Swords is someone who is moving away from crappy situations and you know taking that boat over to the other side of the lake where things are amazing and good, right? So they're stepping out of that Five of Swords energy and deciding to heal perhaps from the past, okay? Um, and so they're feeling like moving towards you is going to be emotionally healing for them. Perhaps they need to walk away from something else first. But like I said, with the sun coming up, I see a very positive um, outcome for that situation if that's the case. So with you coming up as the six of wands and how they view you, they're seeing you as very successful, as going after your soul's purpose, as standing up and, and being victorious in whatever it is that you're pursuing and moving towards. All right. They could also see you as someone who um, is, you know, this is your energy, fire energy. They could be seeing you as someone who um, pursues and takes action towards their goals. And, you know, they could also be realizing that could be time perhaps for some public recognition when it comes to, you know, how they're feeling, what they're thinking about you. And perhaps they see you as kind of waiting on that type of scenario to occur, okay? So you could be waiting on this person to declare their feelings or to, you know, make some type of passionate statement towards you. Um, and so coming up in their intentions, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Justice card. So sorry, I thought it was death, but, you know, if it was death, let's just say that, you know, I said that for a reason. Every death card that pops up is is the foreshadowing of that sun card coming out, okay? So in a sense, you know, with this four of cups, this disappointing energy, um, you know, this person could have perhaps went through a little bit of a transformation in general on how they see things and their willingness to, to create something new from something that was perhaps ruined, okay? So the Ace of Pentacles is an offer. It's a proposal. It's tangible. It's real. Um, it's a new beginning in the physical world, okay? So this could actually be a physical, actual proposal, like, hey, will you marry me? This could be a token of their affection that they're wanting to give to you. And I feel like it would be karmic justice for them to do so, okay? Perhaps, um, you know, this person intends to um, separate from another partner, um, as this card does represent, you know, legal matters, separations, um, you know, again, karmic justice. So this person could be dealing with karma right now and balancing the scales as, you know, we are wrapping up Libra season, moving into Scorpio season, but they intend to make things right. That's the main message I'm seeing here with the two of these together. They want to come forward and offer you some sort of token and they want to make things right and balance the scales between the two of you, okay? So as their desired outcome, we have the Nine of Swords, which... I truly feel like they're planning to come out of that energy because Nine of Swords is very anxious, um, worried, up at night, can't sleep, having nightmares over this, um, just not having a good time, right? Straight up not having a good time, bro. This person is maybe burning the midnight oil, trying to um, figure out perhaps how to move things to the next level because with the two of wands coming up after that, this is planning, this is preparation. Someone who has made a choice as to which way, which direction they want to go, what, what it is that they want to pursue, and now they're preparing to, to do so, okay? They're preparing, they're planning, they're strategizing on how to move forward. 
and you know not only are they just planning they're really thinking about what they want to say guys eight of wands is it's communication it's passionate communication these are love letters messages this is cupid's arrow striking love at first sight and this is also a message to expect a message all right so this person intends to to come out of this worried and anxious energy and start seeing things in a new light and and moving towards what it is that they want which is to communicate with you which is to maybe you know maybe they're going to start texting you maybe they're going to just start talking to you again or um reaching out to tell you perhaps you know like i said how they feel about you um perhaps maybe they have <sighs> it's like i'm getting this energy of this person like missing an opportunity with you and so because of that they kind of went through a transformation and and now are standing in that divine masculine energy it's like you healed them you helped them heal and you helped them see perhaps um you know the error of their ways and and maybe taught them a lesson without even knowing okay and you're doing this by being you you're doing this by being in your energy by standing proud by standing tall going after what it is that you're passionate about it living your soul's purpose so keep doing what you're doing Sagittarius because it's drawing this person in okay it's making them um, really want to move this forward all right so like I said keep doing what you're doing stay in that fiery energy never stop pursuing your dreams um, you know I know you guys are like the truth seekers of the zodiac you guys are very um, you're very antsy okay very antsy people that's not necessarily a bad thing i just feel like you guys are like constantly itching for adventure and so you never want to stay in one place um you could be the type that just you know isn't just successful at one thing you could be just successful at everything that you do um you know that energy of everything you touch turning to gold okay and so let's get some clarification on their thoughts and feelings thoughts and feelings i love the sunflowers with the skull faces by the way so thoughts and feelings to clarify we have the knight of swords so yeah they really do want to communicate with you um they could really be itching to tell you a lot of things um but remember you know this this is the energy of being really hasty it's foot and mouth disease the knight of swords it's saying you know perhaps things without thinking first and so as you can see from this image <clears throat> let me zoom in a little bit more on this image so you know it's like they want to dominate you they want to they they want to step up in that masculine energy they want that power and control and they want to they want to hmm, they want to do nasty things to you and they don't they don't care who sees they don't care what anyone else thinks because they they see you and they are they're turned on they're aroused by you and they want to take control okay um it's like you've helped this person so much without knowing i feel like and so you've kind of sparked this energy within them that makes them want to just like i said take control um so let's get some clarification on their intentions what is the ace of pentacles why are like a thousand cards flying out for you in this reading that that's way too many cards so i'm gonna take the two as you can hear me digging around on the floor i'm gonna take the two that came up face up i'm not gonna take anything else it's funny because literally no other readings no other readings have have been like that every other reading it's been like a struggle to get cards out and now every card wants to come out so that could just be you know that could be a message in itself this person could have a lot to say um this person could be very overwhelmed perhaps with how they are feeling and so to clarify their intentions we have the knight of wands and the two of swords so I think this person could potentially be struggling with balancing out their desires versus realistically how they're going to communicate these things to you because knight of wands is passionate this is someone who is obviously you know a woman and a man just hanging out naked somewhere in a field and they want to scoop you up onto this horse and ride off into the sunset with you okay this is passionate someone who takes action moves things forward 
But, you know, I think this also came up in the reading for Leo. Although this is passionate energy, it's kind of like your energy, Sagittarius. You know, you're passionate and you race forward to do what it is that you're passionate about, but sometimes um, you let your insecurities perhaps stop you from, from truly like following through okay and so i'm not going to go ahead and say like this is the player card because that's what everyone says all right and i see past that um, i think that the reason the knight of wands rushes in and rushes back out doesn't always have to be because there's someone else to rush off to it could just be because of fear okay because of anxiety so this person could feel very passionately towards you and want to race forward but with the two of swords showing up here they could be afraid of rejection okay they could be very afraid of rejection. As you can see, we have this gentleman, um, fully clothed, by the way, which is odd for this deck, I might say, um, offering her this rose. And she's like, mm, I don't know. I really don't know if I even want that rose anymore because, you know, like, ugh. do not be in this energy with this person, okay? If they come forward to communicate with you and they offer you something, um, hear them out, all right? Obviously, use your discernment, but I feel like this person has gone through a transformation, and so, like I said, they could be struggling and be indecisive about how they're wanting to communicate this passion for you, and so they could be doing so by balancing out their ideas of passion versus communication versus love, trying to get balance between all of those elements so that they can come forward to you in a more stable way with this real, tangible offer. Okay, so let's get some clarity on their desired outcome. Desired outcome, one or two cards, please. Okay, all right, so five of wands. So, you know, like I said, with this nine of swords energy and the, you know, the two of wands, kind of the energy of being at a crossroads, um, you know, they could be afraid of, like I said, rejection because of competition, okay? As you can see, you know, this could be them kind of keeping an eye on you, seeing maybe what you're up to. They could be afraid that they're going to have to fight for your attention, okay? And so that's why they're planning. They're strategizing on how to move this forward because perhaps there's been a, t uh, a while in between the last time you spoke to this person. And so they could legitimately be afraid, knowing that you're in this energy, that you could be snatched up by some other naked guy in the middle of a field with a horse, okay? So um, very, very interesting energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles has been popping up a lot for these readings as well. This is the energy of someone planting the seeds and needing to wait, all right? So um, as you can see, you know, it's like, like they've already been intimate in this photo and but now she's fallen asleep and he's like kind of still awake and so it's kind of like mm, all right we it's like we started this but now we need to kind of wait for the ending we need to kind of wait it out and see what's going to happen what's going to grow from these seeds that have been planted okay and so <clears throat> again kind of the energy of the four of cups perhaps this was one of those situations where you know the seeds were planted where you guys made all these plans where you you know where you intended to to create this stable life and perhaps it was put on hold okay so let's get some energy from the energy oracle and see first of all first of all I know these cards are crooked. I need to just accept that and just let them be crooked. So let's see what energy we have for this relationship and see what blockage or challenge is present or will be present for Scorpio season. Okay, let's see what we have for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Wow, so we have victory again. Interesting. We have the, oh, we have the four. What I see in this deck as the Four of Wands, happy family, and victory, okay? So the struggle and the challenge is to get here, is to get to union, 
All right, Four of Wands is the 1111 card. This could be a twin flame situation, <clears throat> soul connection, whatever, however you label yourself. It really doesn't matter. Um, this person could be struggling to get to this happy ending. Um, they could be struggling with perhaps not getting victory when they, when they wanted it. And so they might just be, like I said, strategizing on how to get here. And it could just be a struggle because of that Seven of Pentacles energy, that waiting energy. Um, and so perhaps this person is just becoming impatient with having to wait this out especially knowing that knowing what it is that they want and not having it yet it could be kind of a struggle okay so we're going to dig into the eternal messages and see what this person wants to say to you so messages from this person's higher self messages from this person's higher self for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Okay, so we have kind of a chunk. So let's get it. Let's get it, Sagittarius. Let's see what this person has to say. Don't think because we don't talk, I don't want you because I do. So, you know, Maybe this person isn't really coming out with it, not really saying what's on their mind, but but they they do want you, okay? Um, so they're telling you, just because we don't communicate, don't think I forgot about you, don't think that I don't want this, because they definitely do. I don't want to hide this connection anymore. Wow, so, you know, if they were hiding perhaps how they felt, um, or just hiding in general, hiding out, they're saying that they're kind of done with that, all right? And like I said, looks like they're strategizing a way to move forward. Don't focus on who wants me. I want you. So with that five of wands energy coming up, you know, they're worried perhaps about having to fight for your attention, but it could also be in the reverse. You could be worried about them perhaps going off in a different direction because they haven't communicated with you. And so, you know, two messages here letting you know that it doesn't really matter what is happening in the 3D. This person definitely wants you and they want, they want you to know that no matter who else is in the picture, that, that they want you and no one else, okay? So some people don't want to see us together, but I don't care. Wow. So there could be a little bit of conflict surrounding this connection. Um, there could be a lot of people who are trying to put their two cents in or who just want to be haters, right? And so if this is one of those soul connections, if this is one of those twin flame connections, that's almost always the case, isn't it? Um, you know, you don't meet your twin flame and then, you know, everything's hunky-dory the next day. That's a soulmate, guys. That's someone who, you know is in your soul family. It's not your twin flame. These connections are tough. There's always gonna be friction. There's always going to be issues. Um, and it's because the whole purpose of those journeys is to ascend into our higher selves. Um, this person is there to reflect back at you your deepest insecurities and fears and wounds. And holy shit, did this just crack in half? You guys, my smoky cords just broke in half. Oh my goodness, whatever that means, Lord. That was one of my favorites. I'm just going to stack it on top here and just act like it didn't happen, okay? So, there we go. What? I don't know. What just happened? I'm just going to edit that out of the video. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done running from this connection. That is powerful. So, you know, again, that Knight of Wands energy, the runner energy, um, I think, like I said, they're acknowledging perhaps that that's how they've been. And so they're wanting to make things right and, and show you that they're done doing that. Okay. So let's get a song dedication from this person and see what musical message they have for you. What's the song you're going to be listening to for the next week? <laughs> Let's see what we have, Sagittarius, from your person. What do we have? So I'm hearing in my head, I'm hearing simply irresistible. 
I don't know, so random. So this person is finding it hard to resist you. They're finding it difficult to, um, to stay away, okay? So we have one. Let's get one more, please. Okay, we have a couple more, actually. And I'm gonna take them. Um. So first, we have Close to You by the Carpenters. So on the day that you were born, the angels got together and decided to create a dream come true. So, you know, why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Because they want to be close to you, okay? They want to be near you. They're tired of running. They miss your presence. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like in this six of wands energy that you're in, it's like you're kind of the light that's guiding them home, okay? So will you love me tomorrow? Is this a lasting treasure or just a moment's pleasure? Can I believe the magic of your size? Will you still love me tomorrow? The Shirelles. So again, speaking on this person's insecurity, um, you know, I think perhaps they're just worried that when they do finally come to you, that this is just going to be some fleeting thing that you're not going to really want them forever, ever. Okay. So they could be very concerned with how you will receive them once they do acknowledge this connection. Okay. And finally, we have Careless Whisper by George Michael. So, should have known better than to cheat a friend and waste the chance that I'd been given. So I'm never going to dance again the way I dance with you. This song is so freaking sad. I swear, I hear this song all the time. And it just makes me so sad because it's such a wistful song. It's, it's the Four of Cups. It's someone who's acknowledging what a grave mistake they've made. They're, they're saying... I know I wasted my chance. I know I wasted my opportunity. And, and they're, it sucks. They hate it. They don't like that. They want to come back to you and they want to reunite. They want to make things right. Okay. So very beautiful reading, Sagittarius. I hope that it resonated for you. Um, if you would like a private reading or you would just like to chat um, or get some information from me, please feel free to check out my information in the description box below. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of Scorpio season. I love you and I will see you soon. Bye.